Uh, just very proud of our guys. I mean, they've they've battled and battled and battled, and um, you know they're a resilient group. And our 17 seniors deserve this. You know, they've been through the through the battle, so very happy for them. So overall, what was the biggest key to getting off to that fast start offensively? Well, I think uh, we were able to run the ball, and, and that's, you know, we, we aren't big up front, but um, we do a good job of, of trapping and doing some things like that. So uh, being able to get first downs on, on the ground and uh, being able to mix in some play action passes were, were huge. And then we played with a lead, and, and we got a pretty good defense. So uh, when we get a lead, it, we feel pretty good. Yeah, speaking on that defense, uh, you gave up the one kind of fluky play on that tip ball. Dwanger only got one really sustained drive, but just what can you say about that unit's performance yeah, I tonight? Mean, uh, they were awesome, awesome. And I don't have the stats or anything in front of me, but it um, seemed like they had to, to battle. And Dwanger, to their credit, picked up some third down conversions. And uh, they were on the field a lot in the first half. Um, I think offensively we only had three possessions. So their, their offense was on the field a lot. Our defense did a great job finishing the first half. We went in with a 14-7 lead. and and uh, we're able to pull through in the second half. This is only the second year with you leading this program. When you took over last year, uh, you know, you saw some ups and downs, and to see where this team is at now, how much pride are you taking that, just helping Leo, you know, get over that hump? Yeah, I, I mean, this is obviously a community that loves football, and, um, you know, the program that was built under Coach Souter was awesome, and uh, it made it an easy transition. So, um, you know, these kids... Like I said earlier, they worked their butts off. Um, you know, they, there was some ups and downs last year. There was resiliency, no question, and, and they deserve all this, all this success. We overheard you in that team huddle at the end. Don't let this be the highlight of your season. How do you keep it rolling at Mississippi next week? Uh, well, we're, we're going to have to take a look at them tomorrow and, and uh, prepare. I mean, they're undefeated, so they're obviously a good team. And uh, they beat Kokomo. We, we lost to Kokomo in week one. So um, we're going to have our hands full, no question. I'm sure they're a very good football team. So um, just fortunate to be together for another week.